is Storm Enter Billy from Academy Store 1833. Today I wanted to talk to you all about price changes. In our daily routines, price changes are one of our most important operations when it comes to protecting shrink and also showing values to our customers. Before we conduct our price changes, it is important we look at a couple of our routines and understand what can impact our routines. An example, are our bins capped properly? Have we worked our section work? Have we worked features to home? And only once our routines are done, we have earned the right to do price changes. Today, in our store, you will see some of our associates doing price changes wrong and some of our associates conducting the price changes right. In this first scene, we see Cap One Associate Lee listening to music completely unfocused and unengaged. Because of this, merchandise in the bins is not being scanned. She may not be capping those bins correctly, but look at those dance moves. Get it, Lee. Here we see Department Manager David doing his section work. He ensures to check for modular integrity. Now he works his top stock. He scans his outs and works his features to home when prompted. He now scans his catch up as an out, which has an on hand of 47. His bins were capped, he worked his top stock, and there's not much recent activity on this item, so he zeroes it out. Alright, so let's recap. We have an associate who is not correctly capping the bins, which can potentially lead to shrink. So we have 47 on hand of this ketchup in the bins, but it was not capped. Home office dropped a price change for clearance, it would go from $248 to $1. That right there creates $69 and lost markdowns. Uh, but if we capture that in 35 days, GSS will correct that issue. Okay, now let's see how this is done the right way. Cap1 Melissa scans the bins. Take notice of the inventory in the back room. Because there is less to cap, Melissa is able to scan the bins and is not overwhelmed or rushing to get the bins capped. This time, Department Manager David heads to the back with Melissa to ensure the bins have been properly scanned. This is a best practice and a good way to follow up and verify that if associates are not properly scanning the bins, that we are able to correct the behavior. In this case, Melissa deserves a high five for a job well done. Once again, David starts his section work, ensuring we are maintaining modular integrity. He scans his top stock, and now he scans his outs. This time, because the bins were correctly capped, the ketchup is not scanned as an out because it was picked from the back room. Now, David moves on to price changes. So, the bins were thoroughly capped, and a pick was created to match the shelf cap of the ketchup, which was then stocked. So, the markdown for all 47 bottles was captured. Hello, Heather. Hi, How are you? Hi. Hello, Kelly. Hi. How are you? Hey, Heather, I brought Kelly with me. She's a new department manager, and we wanted you to tell us how you do actually price changes. Okay. Well, first, you have to ensure all your bins are capped and your freight is worked. If you're like me and have top stock in your department, you will also need to get your section work done before moving on. On the screen, you will notice there's a pre-work tab. This needs to be done before you start working your price changes. What is pre-work? Pre-work could be negative on hand or a need to count. Once you've completed this step, now you are able to work on your price changes. A best practice is to ask your associate to do a deep zone on the area you have to do the price changes on. So that way you have a more accurate count on your items. Also, ensure you work all your reshop. That way you don't miss any markdowns. You want to make sure when you have price changes, especially in any kind of markdown, that we are capturing all of our markdowns. The system will actually tell you the location of the price change. Once you've gone through and adjusted your on hand, the exact number of labels for each item will then print. Thank you, Heather. So, so this is actually a new system. Before, we used to actually have Garvey All Apparel. Has this benefited you in any way uh, when capturing shrink? 
Yes. One example would be if the system only prints out four one by one labels for a size small and I see six of them, I'm then aware that there is an incorrect on hand and I can fix it. So uh, what would you say that the key for accurate uh, price changes would be? I would say accurate on hand, which is also why also working your pre-works is so important. Thank you, Heather. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Co-Manager Mike from 1833 Fredericksburg, Virginia. When we are talking about price changes, you always need to act with integrity. My job as a co-manager is to make sure that we are running the process by one best way and identify the shrink opportunity of the store. We get the claims associates printing every single morning the markdowns, markups over $50 and give it for the manager for reviewing. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Raj. I mark them over 50 for your review. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, when I review the reports, I highlight the items with the highest dollar amount for each department. Then I take the report to the sales floor and check to make sure that we got accurate counts. We got example down here that the item, the old price was $99 and the new price was $149. So the difference on this item was $50. The system quantity was 28, which is multiplied by $50. Total of markup money was $1,400. So when I took the item to the sales floor, I checked with the department managers. We don't have anything in the back room and we found only two, which is two multiplied by $50 is total of $100. So this single item can cause the shrink of $1,300 markup if we don't catch it on time. Okay, so let's wrap up. Uh, we saw how Melissa, our Cap 1 associate, was able to properly cap the bins, but also how Department Manager David followed up to ensure his bins were correctly capped before working his section work and initiating price changes. Also, we saw an example of how apparel price changes are executed. Now, price changes in apparel are a little bit different but also very important because this is where you will see a lot of markdowns at the end of each season and usually also where markdowns are usually missed. A best practice would be to assign someone to follow up and scan the clan's racks to ensure we have captured all those markdowns. This is a good way to ensure that all merchandise that has one by one label to ensure and show our customers a better value. Last but not least, our last segment we saw co-manager Mike reviewing the markup markdown greater than $50 report to capture missed markdowns. It is very important that the store manager and AP manager partners up and assign a member of management to execute this grid task every week to capture these mistakes. Thank you.